Hey friends, this is Jared Hill with the App Podcast. Today we're going to take a look at Lunar Module 3D. Now this game is very intense and a lot of fun. So uh, let's look at the options really quick. One of the cool things, because this game does involve you moving the iPhone around, and I know those of you who have played games like this before, where you move the phone around, it's a pain when you have to hold the phone a certain way. So you can set your up position, which is awesome. So it shows where your current up position is and then where you want to set your new up position. So let's just say I want to set it right here so that I can now have that as my up position and we'll go back. Um, we have some information on our flight plan here, which you could read if you'd like. But let's go right into missions because this is a pretty uh, involved game that's going to take a little bit of time to explain. So you have your different missions over here, the simplest one being the Sea of Tranquility, and then as you get hard to these harder levels there are more stops that you have to make. Um, you can see those here, the reds are the landing pads, the blues are the refueling stations. A couple things that you have to pay attention to when you're playing this game is your uh, fuel, because if you run out of fuel you're gonna crash and burn. So let's go off with the easy one here and just do the Sea of Tranquility. So uh, let's hit play here. And okay, um, so as landing. you can Retro. see, go. Go. the imagery go. is really go. 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 nice Get here. Go. You have go. your go. Uh, basic go. renders go. are the in the exact same thing that we would see if um, if we were actually on these uh, these missions. So the object here is to land um, on that pad, and as you can see, we've got um, our vertical and horizontal speeds over here on the side, and those speeds will tell us, if they're green, they'll tell us that we're coming in at a, uh, at a good speed. If they're red, they will tell us that we are coming in too hot. So here I am lowering myself nicely and gently and mission is accomplished. And so that's the goal right there. You have your fuel over here so you want to make sure that you do not run out of fuel. Um, and then you have your altitude here which shows you know how far you are until the surface. Vertical and horizontal speed so you want to make sure you focus on those uh, and make sure that you don't um, hit anything you know uh, too fast. So another button over here, when we get to um, some of these harder levels that have more landing zones that we need to hit, uh, it may become a little more difficult for you to find okay, those um, because they're so far away. So you can use this target to actually move the camera and point it towards uh, where our next location is. So uh, I can hit target here and see it rotated the camera and it's showing uh, our nearest uh, location. So we're going to head in that direction. One of the neat things that you can do is you can rotate the cameras here and uh, zoom in and out as well. Oh boy, I need to pay attention here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash and burn. So this this game really takes a lot of finesse because you can easily blast right past one of these uh, one of these zones, these landing zones, and then of course uh, you're in a lot of trouble. This is a very hard game to play and record at the same time uh, without having any issues here. So you can see I'm kind of coming in a little too hot, just dancing all over the place. Alright, let's see if we can do this and make this landing. Alright, looks like we did it. So now I've got one out of the way, but I still need to fly to my other one. So the easy way here would be to hit that target, take off, and fly. Now I have to keep in mind that I do not have any fueling stations uh, between uh, on this level, so I need to make sure that I don't use my thruster all the time because I'm going to run out of fuel. So short bursts are going to be your best game plan to getting uh, over to the other side. Now I'm way too low, coming in way too hot here to uh, 
to make it. This is very challenging. Oh, okay, I'm dead. So, uh, obviously that's what happens when you crash and burn. So a couple of things. When you use that target and you actually fly past um, your intending landing zone, the camera will fix upon that zone. If you have used the target. If you have not, you'll be kind of flying blindly, which I would say adds a level of difficulty. So uh, this would, I would say, would be your help. You know, if you wanted assistance, you would use that and it would provide assistance. But if you did not and just wanted to press your luck, um, obviously don't use it. Anytime during gameplay you can hit the pause button to stop and pause the game uh, so that obviously you're not kind of floating around to your doom. Um, I'd say probably the most unique thing and the best part about this game is its imagery. The images that are here in this app are the same terrains and everything that these missions saw when they were there uh, years ago. So very good um, overall gaming experience here uh, and lots of fun. Obviously a game you have to concentrate a lot on to play <clears throat> and to be successful at, but nonetheless that just makes, uh, more challenge makes it more challenging. So um, inexpensive game, not very expensive at all. I recommend that you go check it out and see that this game is well worth the cost um, and uh, definitely come by our website after you've played it and uh, leave your thoughts on our website. Um, hey, if you like this review, come by iTunes, leave us a five-star review in iTunes, and then also go to Lunar, Mo uh, Lunar Module 3D in iTunes and leave them a review as well. Let everybody know how not only I as an app reviewer is doing, but also how uh, Lunar Module 3D is doing as a game. Definitely check it out. Of course, make sure your phone's charged too. Gotta love those uh, messages that it gives you. So anyhow, take care and we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out the App Podcast.